Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Classical Class and today we will talk about 7 facts why people love builder base more than normal home base. So before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss anything on this channel. Now we all know that in the month of May 2017, we received the most awaited update in Class of Clans and that is the builder base update. A very different type of new second base has been added to the game and most of the players love to play this new type of knight base. There are some facts, some reasons that made them to love this base more than the normal home base. So the first thing is the versus battle system. Basically it's the main thing what differs the battle system between normal base and builder base. If we go for a battle in our normal home village, we can only attack our opponent's base but our opponent cannot attack our base at that moment of time. If he wants to attack our base, he can only take the revenge after our attack is done and he can only attack us when we are out of our shield. But in the battle of builder base, we and our opponent can attack each other at the same point of time. So this battle system is very unique and much fair than the normal base battle system and I think it's the best battle system in Clash of Clans. And it's like 1v1 battle concept from Clash Royale. Moving to the second point is no loot grab system. I think it's the most lovable concept of builder base. You know it really hurts when your storages are full and you are out of your shield and someone attacks you and grabs a huge amount of resources from your normal base. But in builder base, you cannot grab any amount of resources from your opponent's storages, gold mines, exa collectors, etc. So it's a pretty good concept of Clash of Clans builder base. The third thing is the limitation in loot bonuses. In our normal base, there is no limitation in our winning loot bonuses. If we win a bat any battle with minimum 1 star, then we get our winning loot bonuses for that attack and the main thing is there is no limitation for this kind of bonuses for a day. I mean that if we win 1000 attacks a day then we will get these bonuses for that 1000 time. But in builder base we can only get these bonuses for just 3 times per day. We can only get a limited amount of loot from each of 3 winning battles for a day. So if you win more than 3 battles a day then you will not get any loot from the 4th winning battle. You can only gain your trophies, nothing else. And yeah, it's a cool thing in Clash of Clans. So the 4th point is the trophy pushing system in Builder Hall Base. Now it's that thing what I personally like the most in Builder Hall Base. The most terrible thing in trophy pushing of normal base is the cloud timing. It takes over half an hour to find a single opponent base in Legendary League. It's really ridiculous. As I am a trophy pushing guy, I love to push trophies. So it's the fact why I fear to enter the Legendary League. And I think a lot of trophy pushing players hate this cloud system. But if we go for the builder base, we will find that there is not much waiting time or cloud time to find our opponent in our battle search. Yeah, sometimes it takes 3 to 5 minutes to find your opponent if you are over 5k trophies, but not like that much. So I think Builder Village is the best place for trophy pushing players. Now the fifth thing is the troll type base makings. If we count it properly then we will find that 95% of builder bases are troll type bases and that is because of two things. The first thing is there are a lot of traps and bombs in builder base and the second one is set of 5 single walls. Actually troll type of bases works much better than the close type of bases so that's it. that is why everyone using troll bases in builder base. And for this reason, it's very tough to make 3 stars on any kind of builder hall base. Moving to the 6th point is the no league system. Now I can't say it's a good thing about builder base, but I just want to say that though there is no league system in builder base, there is a profit of trophy pushing and that is the loot. The more you push, the more you get the loot. In normal base system, if you push from one league to another then you will be able to get more loot bonuses. 
Same like that, if you push your trophies in builder base, then you will also get more loot from those 3 winning battles for a day. So yeah, it's a pretty good concept what encourages you to play the game even after you have done with your 3 winning bonuses for a day. Finally, the seventh point is the army camp and army composition system of builder base. The best part about BH base army camp is you cannot take multiple types of troop in just one camp. You can only fill one camp with same type of troops. The other thing is builder base army is much shorter than the normal base. I mean to say that there are less amount of troops you can use in battles of builder base. Hence, it's much more easier to control builder base attacks. The best part about builder base is you can even change the troops when your opponent is already selected in the battle. Now, except these 7 facts, there are also some more reasons to love builder hall base more than town hall base. People love the new conceptual buildings like clock tower, gem mines, crushers, guard posts, etc. Besides, people also love the new hero battle machine and the concept of ability of troops. It's really unique. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed a lot. Stay with us for more upcoming content.